stretches its arm when you go to action. Um, oh, copy mus uh, mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> We're continuing yeah. from last time. Yeah, boy. Oh, copy cinnamon. <laughs> Basically, if you can think of a food ingredient, just say the word I'll copy before it, and you've got to do it. <laughs> oh, copy fall damage Here's is the real. Here's factory farm. We like to write recipe books on the daily. Oh, copy wine. Oh, copy mead. <laughs> oh, copy ale. Oh, copy hard cider. Oh, copy eggs. I think, I don't, I think I've said that properly. Wait. Yeah, different eggs. That's oh, copy <laughs> machine. Oh, copy. <laughs> Oh, copy and paste. <laughs> oh, copy ink. Oh, copy. <laughs> it's basically just oh, copy blood. <gasps> That's what you know. In the Congo, the original constitution was written in oh, copy ink, which is what they call oh, copy blood. No, dude, they would use the uh, the white of their eyes oh. as ink. <laughs> They wrote on the blackened hide of the hill comics. Yes, the the jerkied hide, the, the darkened, dried, sun dried. You ever had blue? Oak the oak? African sun dried hide. Mm. Sam hide. <laughs> Sam Okapi hide. Jekyll and Okapi hide. <laughs> it's like oh, fucking bullshit. Game it's hard. Oak. Okapi waffles. Yeah. Okapi syrup. Oh, copy game over. Oh, uh, oh copy wait, what, what country are oh, copy native to? Congo. Then Congolese toast, as opposed to French toast. You know, the term Congolese red originally just was the color of oh, copy blood. And then, and that that also, they, they bloodlet in oh, copy one day, and uh, they created the dish blue oh, copy when they let it sit for four months and came back and there was mold all over it. And they said, this is delicious. <laughs> and then the same guy from that village made blue cheese a week later. <laughs> True. Blue old coffee's the predecessor of blue cheese. Yep. The first cheeses were made with old coffee milk. Not a lot of people know that. The cavemen. <laughs> Otherwise known as the, uh, the old coffee people. Uh, We're descended from old coffee. Yeah. No, I, I'm just going to say it right there for <laughs> the layman out there. The primate as we know it comes from the old coffee. Yeah. We're giraffes, folks. We may not look it, but we we technically are. Giraffes say It's, it's like how birds are dinosaurs, you know. Right. The whole yeah. mammalian f faction is under oh, the giraffes. Yeah. yeah, we... Yeah. <laughs> Even though they, they're mammals, too. Yes. But, no, they're like the predecessor of yeah, all the blue mammals. whales. Right. Came from an oak giraffe. Basically... Some mammals lost the, the length in their necks and the other stayed. And that fat just went to other parts of their body. Right. It kind of it kind of migrated anatomically. Sure. <laughs> sure, you know, yeah. You know, South Korea just made the first Okapi robot. A fully in, uh, artificially intelligent Okapi. <laughs> AI Okapi. Microsoft Okapi. Yes. And he, believe it or not, he actually works for Korean FedEx. <laughs> and uh, he can you can can you guess what department he works in? Um, within FedEx or? I'm gonna give you a hint. His name is Okapi. <laughs> so he's in the copy. I was talking <laughs> along these roof docks for so long. <laughs> oh, walking! I got lost, but I found this park moon, so it's not all bad. Useless. Okay, bye. My favorite character. I'm just gonna listen. stay here for the rest of my. Is the Okapi like? He is. <laughs> Okapi's belt? <laughs> That's what you call the line of white fur that makes the first stripe that is zebra-like on the back of an Okapi. You first now, is it the passenger or the driver section? It's on both. And both. it starts in the center at the anus. That's so right. if you find your Okapi's anus, just put your finger on it. Maybe put it inside. Know, maybe maybe in it, yeah. oh. Just to feel and around. You're just going to follow that white line with your finger all the way around. And eventually... To make your way to the true star of the show, that Okapi dick. <laughs> or if you're one of the rare female species, that Rocky old, Mountain Okapi. That's right, the Okapi oyster, as it's often referred to, or the Okapi <laughs> ova. Female species. The Okapi the Okapi cloaca. <laughs> the Okle Okle. <laughs> the Okapi cloaca. Most dude, little known fact 
the Okapi is what developed separate genders in animals. Yeah, that's right. Before, the, the, and they're considered separate species. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Adam and Eve were Okapis. No, it was just <laughs> one Okapi, and it was asexually reproducing. Yeah. And then he <laughs> put his dick in his vagina, and out came. It was it was a no it was an <laughs> abnormality. It was a birth defect. One of them was did not have a dick. Natural so, selection. Yeah, so and then women are just a bit disabled. I mean, it goes without. And they're dis- <laughs> they're all descended from that one okapi born without that a dick. Had a genetic mutation that did not allow it to have a dick. <laughs> it didn't allow it to have a dick. No, yeah, God said no, nope, not today, because God's just a big old copy. <laughs> <laughs> and he has a dick. <laughs> he, is, he, is, he is the biggest. It's. It's. I mean. It's. It's in the rules. Yeah. yeah I mean. You need to read the old those. Bible? If you call this. Sh- you can't call yourself a Christian and not read the old copy Bible. <laughs> the the O V. Oh yeah. The old copy version. <laughs> the G O V. Dude, it's not even O-copy. called the old copy version because that's like the Old Testament right there. The old copy testament. The all uh, the Torah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've heard of the Old Testament? It stands for Old Copy li- Literary Device. <laughs> because Old Copies invented man's first religion. Old Copy Limited. The Vedas I mean, liter- of Hinduism were written by Old Copies. <laughs> Languages were. <laughs> Very highly literate. <laughs> Writing systems as we know it. Cuneiform was invented by Old Copies. You know, they founded the Library of. Alexandria, yeah. and they burned it. They, also they didn't they want did. us to yeah. have the knowledge that they had. On par with uh, that? Tyler, you're, uh, that is actually false. You see... Because uh, everything else we've said for this past couple hours... Is no, 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 no. See, the it was called the Library of Okapizandria. Oh, yes. And Alexander the Great burned it down and, you know, rewrote history to say yeah. he was the... It's true. The, the nomer the of the igniter of the it's true. library. Oh yes, my mistake. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh. Oh, copy asshole. <laughs> Teriyaki, oh copy. New name for the band. <laughs> ah shit. Yep. As well as creating writing and genders and genetic diversity, Okapis have also done great strides for humanity, like the first patent on an Etch-A-Sketch. Yeah. Belongs to an Okapi. They founded um, the elements. They the founded the periodic yeah. table of elements. That's, That's right. Okapi. A lot of people don't know this. Dimitri Mendeleev, Okapi. <laughs> Not his famous who we thought were humans yeah, that, are that all Okapis. Yeah, that that white guy that everyone thinks is Dimitri Mendeleev, that's really just the guy who raised Do you know the, the show people. Ancient Aliens? It's actually code word for ancient Okapi. <laughs> yes, because Spanish for Okapi is alien. You know that? That's why we call, you know, that's why some people call, you know... Illegal immigrants aliens? Because yes. they're really, it's an honorable term. It's saying you're just like the, the, the forefathers, the xenomorphs, the Okapi that birthed us. <laughs> I'm not a conspiracy theorist. No. I'm a true. I'm a soothsayer. Yep. I'm a truth sayer. You know, Civilization Six in September is supposedly adding the Okapi as a new uh, civilization. Yeah. <laughs> Plays the species. Did you see that and meme where? Uh, yeah. Did you? There was one meme that <laughs> wanted to add the emus as a faction. Mm. <laughs> they always beat all three. Yeah. That's why I want to see emus versus Okapi. John Curtin. Jo- what? The o- He was an Okapi. <laughs> he was. I want to keep him up. As well as Wilfred Laurier, FDR, Teddy Roosevelt. All the Roosevelt family is Okapi. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Jesus was a Roosevelt, too. <laughs> <laughs> Not an Okapi, a Roosevelt. Well, I mean, they're well, all... they're all Okapi. Yes, it's Ergo, one of the same. Yeah. Jesus was an Okapi. Yeah. Okapi. Mario! Ah! 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 Ah!
Forget it. Just take her, Mario. I can't take her anymore. At least he's having a cake. too late, bitch. We're <laughs> off to our wedding ceremony on the fucking moon. I'm gonna piss, oh! you're gonna piss so hard on the moon. At least he's moon. having festi festivities. Oh no! Come just back, like, you no, stupid escaped bitch. Oh. Celebrate it. No cake for you, but no, he made a cake. He made a cake so big it's, it's weighing down the ship. Look at that. That's how slow. Look at how slow that thing's going. Yeah. See all them pink flags? I would never fly pink. It's because he's making a compromise for his wife. That's what love is all about. Yeah. Give and take. It's a two way street. Two way <laughs> prison? My one true parent? Yeah, yeah. Bowser, Princess Peach. <laughs> I ship the fuck out of that. Yeah. To each other. All not. right, let's go. <laughs> No matter what gets in their way. Team of four. Team of four. So you're facing a four of them now. Absolutely. Bird. Your mama and your titty. Your bird in your city. You wanna like uh, hit him? Or uh... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> there you go, that looks better. Well, thank you. Uh... I'm an old copy wrangler down there at Factory Farm in Rhode Island. I was born in the uh, southern western side of Virginia. Good, good kin of mine's called in many a radio show by the name of Southern West Virginia guy. How, <laughs> how you doing? Yeah, man. But yeah, uh, man. <laughs> we was I'm doing great, thanks for asking. Now, this good. reminds me of a story where I... I went up to the factory farm of the Okapi, yeah, and uh, you know they they said I, we can't serve your kind here, and I was like, why? "What are you talking about?" And they said, "Well," you're black. <laughs> they said, "Well, well uh, no, was it because of the color of your skin? It was because of the nature of my uh, your species. Indian ancestry. You're from the Blackfoot tribe. Blackfoot." <laughs> No, I'm from the White Hand Tribe. <laughs> yep, yep, I knew a member of them. They uh, met a grizzly in Mustard's Last Stand, I believe it's called. Mustard. You're thinking of uh, Ketchup's Last Stand. That's right, that's right. Some engines. They like rewrote history. Blood. They're trying to tell everybody how it happened. But I know. I, was I there. know how it happened. I was there. Wars. <laughs> yeah. See, not a lot of people know this. There's a time warp in southern western Virginia. Uh, we're still in 1880 over there. Yeah. So, yep. Slaves are freshly freed. First generation. And, um. <laughs> we don't watch. We're still <laughs> super sore about Lincoln dying. Wait, was West Virginia a northern state? Southern. Western Virginia, so we were seven. <laughs> you see, little known fact, there was a brief one month period where there was three Virginias. Yeah. There was Virginia, uh -huh. Western Virginia, uh -huh. and Southwestern Virginia. Uh -huh. But we're, but we're the South that, that is not one word. That is not one word, Southwest Virginia. That is two words. That's South right. South West we're Virginia. South of Western Virginia. Virginia. Yeah. That's right. And we're in the time war. That uh, and President Andrew Johnson, uh, in 1866, uh, contacted the aliens and said, "Hey, the are you an Okapi? Well, our Okapi forefathers have set us up for a failure. We need." Oh some my guidance. God! I need to start over from there. And uh, the aliens Space came to him in the form of a quokka. Dude, that's quoke. And a lot of people say, now what in the hell would that marsupial be doing <laughs> over there in uh, uh, the, that neck of the woods I was just describing? That escapes my brain at the moment. Uh, God, fucking bullshit. That's the word. You should just let me win. Get yeah. some guy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's not I fair. Skin it's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know my feeling comes on my What? Anakin. 
Well, Why are you uh, referring to Palpatine as your master? This is my fault. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I joined the dark side because it's more fairer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, bye. That's my name, don't worry about it. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> But that's Master, can I rub your belly? <laughs> Protection. <laughs> I need a belly condom. Yes. Made from old copy skin. The only material that can hold my mega sperm. I also need mega a diaphragm sperm. for my navel. Yes, I do require a diaphragm made of old copy cartilage for my 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 lower sphinct. My upper sphinct is completely obliterated. Master, why do I need a map to traverse your sphinct? It's a deep cavernous <laughs> trench down there. It's Can thousands of miles of Can skin area. Nautical miles, that is. Yes. It's unnatural. <laughs> it's quite deep. Some have called it unnatural. Yes. <laughs> Some have called my ability to uh, stretch the inner caverns of my asshole unnatural. Master Goatsy. Yeah, that was my given name before. <laughs> given name? My Christian name <laughs> before. Of course, I was turned to the dark side. My dark side. He said, I can bring the dead back to life. I'm not this. And I said, Ooh, sign me up. <laughs> and next thing you know, I was wielding one of those big red wands and I was doing something, something, something. <laughs> Dark side. Of course. And then I met this fabulous little twink by the name of Annie. <laughs> Hey, I know an Anakin. Oh. Why does he have my name too? That's unfair. But before I met Anakin, I met Maul. <laughs> he, he was a, before he I was an otter. <laughs> I met Dooku, yeah. a.k.a. Darth Tyrannus. That's and yeah. what a tyranny. And he was a naked mole rat when I found him. And then through the power of the dark side, he became a bear. And the old <laughs> forefathers, I turned him into a human. Oh, I was... I, was, oh. I wasn't being literal. I was oh. using code words, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, sure. Something, something, something. Dark side, oh. oh. <laughs> He just gave us away. That was a code word. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in too many movies. I can't keep up with you all. You know, this you're stuff. going to hell because you played two bad guys, right? I was, oh, I'm going to double. Three hell. bad guys. You were oh, Dracula, weren't you? Triple. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's more Boba. of a perspective thing. Boba. What? Where I mean, is <laughs> Vader? <laughs> Kill Vader. Vader. Oh. Vader. Vader. Kill Vader. Where's Boba? <laughs> Boba! Well, <laughs> Come on, Dean, use the da. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Such bullshit. Yeah. What's the deal? Well, yes. all this cowfish is. It's so easy. I don't know why, fucking up all the time. Maybe it's because I'm fucking with Donna. You ever think of that? Degrade you ever think of that, Kramer? Huh? Huh? <laughs> We're all thinking it, Jerry. <laughs> you ever think of that, Kramer? Huh? Huh? Think I'm retarded? Say it behind my back? Jerry, we know you're retarded. We'll say it in front of your front. What the fuck? <laughs> it's true. You know, my voice gets high when I'm really bad. Fuck you. And you're really <laughs> what? Jerry, it's me, Ray Romano. What are you doing, Joe? Well, this is Jew-only hour. 
Oh, whoa! Hey! You're like Sicilian? Who said Italians are... Hey, first of all, I'm an Italian, very probably. And who said... Secondly, who said Italians can't be Jews? Hey! Oh, you ever seen Life is Beautiful? Giuseppe! <laughs> oh, John, put your face well, he died! He was a Jew! <laughs> uh, yeah, he's dead! Yeah, but his son... What's the deal with all these dead Jews? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It but, shouldn't happen. But his son, little Giuseppe, lived... And then Giuseppe had a kid named Roman. Fake news! And Roman had a kid named Fake Romano. News. And that kid gave birth to me, Ray Romano. Oh my god, it's fucking stupid. All these yeah. fucking stupid it's true, I boys am stupid. telling me how to live my life. I mean, I fell and I met a Down syndrome school. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I also met my oh, wife. What the Barbara. fuck? I was in the same place as before! Yeah. You should hit me! Don't be so down. You know what? That's See? what my mom told me. And I said, What? You think I'm a Your mother sounds like a smart woman. Yeah, you should she be sounds more like, like her. a smart cookie. Oh my god! This fucking shit is annoying! Well, maybe next time you get it. Bye. No, I'm getting it now. No. Go along. I'm going to do it. Okay. Welcome to minute 22 of. Oh my god, minute 22. Ugh. <laughs> It's not like we have a fucking two-hour episode of us going, you know. No, this this channel has no viewers. I think Claire gave up. <laughs> she ran out of shit. The shit. Get, she quit t giving a shit. Quite quit taking shits. Quit giving them to. Well, you know, I think Puerto Rico, their bathrooms. They don't have separators for the stalls. Claire, if, so, if you're watching you know. this, do they have bathrooms in Puerto Rico? <laughs> well, well, they do, they, they the do, but the toilets are out in the open. Like, everyone sees each other shitting. It's public mandate. It's not because, like... <laughs> it's because the, the leader of the that country... Similar to the Castro's men, uh, required that all women over the age of 25 get an abortion. And all men... Over 25? Yeah. You're wow. old made by that age. So get you know, an abortion no matter what? Well, you can have a kid before you're 25, but yeah. once you're 25, huh. die those boobs. 25? Yep. 25! What's the deal with all 50. these old cougars <laughs> having <laughs> kitties? <laughs> yeah. yeah, just cut it all off. Straight up. They said the best times of your lives happen before you're 50, so let's just kill every 50 year old. Didn't Castro live to like fucking 90 well, something? Yeah, well, he was Castro. He wrote the system. He's an exception. Yeah. Yeah. He, said, he said, look, I know I'm the exception of the rule. I'm great. I've only gotten better with age. I age like a fine fucking wine. But the rest of these Cubans, they, they, hit, they hit 50. That's stupid. Euthanize them. <laughs> and uh, that's like spot on Fidel Castro. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So me, Fidel. I, w I was having fun with some crises. And some you know, I call people who aren't Fidel Castro infidels. <laughs> that was good. That was really a good job. Well, that's why I'm a comedian. You know, that's why. Because I'm funny. Or is it because in Down Syndrome School, the teacher said, Oh, oh you're my so God. You're bringing that up again, huh? You're bringing that yeah, up? I'm oh, bringing it up. My voice is getting higher because of She also told me I was funny too, huh? huh? Oh, yeah. She did? They told all of us we were funny. Look, yeah, you know why? Right? Because we Mickey had Mouse fucking Mouse voice. Voice of Mickey Mouse. <laughs> it's true. You tell a retard anything to get it's it to smile. Uh, trivia. <laughs> you know? I tell you this much. A laughing retard is better than a crying retard. <laughs> Absolutely. If I learned anything Absolutely. from my days at the Sunnyside community for those who will not make it past the age of 12. I, uh... <laughs> I was the exception to the rule. Who are we, you? Who are Ray you? Romano! <laughs> to quote the who. Oh my god. Who are you? Who I helped who? write that song, you know. Really? Yeah. So did I. Are you saying we were in the same room and didn't even realize it? No, it was a uh, remote writing. Oh, see, I think you're lying. Over the telly. Because <laughs> I did it before there was television. I, s I meant telephone, <gasps> bitch. You got me there. Well, I meant telegram. Well, fuck you. Yeah. Let oh, my I God. How? Do I how? Ray Romano is a sentient eternal game. being. Tyler. 
Well, you know what? I don't have to play it at a stupid fucking angle. I've been around since the year seven. <laughs> yep, when Jesus was yeah. a baby, his mom... He was seven. He wasn't a baby, you stupid fuck. Okay, when Jesus was a kid, his mom's cousin got knocked up by Jesus as well. I mean, by God as well. <laughs> and gave birth to me, Ray Romano. And since Her then... name? Deborah. <laughs> Hence why every woman I've fallen in love with for the past two millennium has been named Nebra! <laughs> Nebra! Are you the wandering Jew? Oh, I'm Ray Romano! I'm the wandering well, Ray. Well, how, how are you still alive? <laughs> the huh? wandering Ray. I told you, I'm a sentient, omnipotent, never-dying, eternal being. Born if anyone's the seven. wandering Jew, it's me. What can I say? It's unnatural. Kids love me more than lunch. I'm not the one with my face on some white ass Captain Crunch. <laughs> Dude, I saw a Simpsons together, episode where Ray Romano voiced a character and he was like a he was a handyman. And yeah, he sounded mm -hmm. just like this? Yeah. No, like yeah, he didn't put on a voice for it. Yeah, it was just hey, his voice. This I'm Ray regular Romano, voice. And they hired me to no, his name up. was Ray, but it wasn't Romano. It was Ray Ray the handyman. I think they just Ray said Ray, 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 yeah. Just yeah, Ray. I, I, I'm, I'm yeah. Ray. I'm the handyman. And then, uh, Deborah, he helped Homer fix balls. his roof. It wasn't that good of an episode. Yeah. But, uh, what season was it? 35? 36? No, it was like season 12. It was, oh, uh, it was one they were still doing be cell animation. Oh, well, you know. that had potential to be great. It was like 2002, I think. Matt Groening is 2003? a piece of shit, you know? <laughs> Even though he made a lot of my favorite TV shows. He also wrote Futurama. Futurama and Disenchantment. Disenchantment. Uh... You know what he co-wrote the pilot for Spongebob. <laughs> it's true. That's, if you look, if you use a microscope while you're watching the television, you can see Bart Simpson in the background and it's the Krusty Krab going... the B in Tibbet, in Paul Tibbet. They wrote the full name. <laughs> Cuneiform. Or as I call it, Okapi. Alright, next time we're going to piss on the moon. Never.